Wow. Well, fortunately, Go, uh, Gokarna is right on the coast, the Arabian Sea coast, and it's a breezy stretch of the Arabian Sea coast. So the skies, as soon as you get within a few kilometers of the coast, wow, haven't seen a blue sky in days. Yeah. Um, it's a pilgrimage town, famous Ganesh Temple, Sanskrit uh, school, Zadus everywhere, mm -hmm. Hindu pilgrims, plus... For us nature freaks, three pristine beaches that you can only get to by foot or small ferry boat, like boat taxi. <sighs> well, um, Gokarna rail station attained. Here we are in Gokarna, share a taxi with two luscious hippie babes. I notice they don't shave their legs. <laughs> After eight kilometers into town, the two women get off in their preferred hotel. I don't even fantasize having sex with them. I'm way too old. Yeah. Uh, myself, I'm pretty tired anyway. Yeah. So to save money, I check into a bottom end Hin Hindu pilgrimage uh, hostel. Two dollars a night. I figure... This will save me money and kind of compensate for that $48 blowout at the Krishna Temple in Bombay. <laughs> well, my prison cell room, uh, thick with mosquitoes. I always bring my own mosquito net and tax to pound it into the wall with. Bed boards, rotten. Ceiling fan, out of whack. Uh, repetitively creaky. Ooh, and what's that noise? What? Oh, no. Uh, some kind of freaked out dog repetitively barking just below my second store window. Well, I have the answer for that dog. Shut the fuck up. I scream as loud as I can. Not very uh, pilgrim-like. Uh, has, has no effect on the dog. So I take refuge in my MP3 player. Look, I got more jazz than that dog's got bark, huh? Uh, well, I didn't get much sleep, so the next day, scuffle up to the Gokarna, so-called International Hotel. Well, it's the best hotel they got in town, yeah. And for $15 a night, twice my budget, I book a beautiful room upstairs. What? It's got three queen-size beds. Oh, Quicky uh, clean sheets and a big hot shower. Oh, it's even got cable TV. Oh, look at the a little Bollywood women dancing around in, in kind of those belly dance costumes. They're kind of doing breast thrusts out. I guess that's as sexy as it gets in fundamentalist India these days. Yeah. Uh, oh, look over the tropical neighborhood. Beautiful. Just palm forests all the way to the Arabian Sea. I lays around till then to recover from everything. Well, in bed, I have the second insight. Remember the one about Eddie dancing? What is your personal it so that you are uh, content to be alone? And one with nature, with God. Uh, well, it's followed by this one. Um, if you do not experience a complete psychological breakdown in India, <laughs> surely you are not taking advantage of the opportunity. The journey within you, without you. Look, at India so completely sh shatters your little habitual self. <laughs> yeah, you're in shards. And uh, so, but it gives you the opportunity to glue yourself back together. <laughs> <laughs> Reconstitute yourself. Yeah. Your big cosmic self with a capital S. As a relationship to your little teeny. This is what you get, self. How did I get these digits? Um, for the benefit of your own soul. <clears throat> you know, kind of awareness. And uh, for mankind. Yeah, sure. Uh, well refreshed, I wander around that sacred Ganesh temple and through the bazaar to the beach. Hmm. 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 I mean, this walk's imbued 
with Indian spirituality, ancient Hinduism. Near the uh, beach, uh, there's the, the hippie hangout, a world traveler's premise restaurant. Yeah, popular with budget travelers. Yeah. Oh, there's a large framed uh, picture painting of Shiva Shakti merged into one being. Warms the interior of the cafe. <laughs> this insight into male-female Shiva Shakti fusion runs deep in the Indian blood. Yeah. Painting. Kind of an interdimensional portrait, wedding portrait in Sanskrit. Well, here comes a older, weathered, global nomad named New York Steve. Uh, I had photographed Steve Ehler, e earlier just because he was just so flamboyantly dressed. Uh, uh, so here he is again. I invite him to sit down. He's athletic, relaxed, tanned, uh, hippie, uh, Goa castaway from the 1960s. And Steve evolved into a flowing, mellow blend of native Hindu, Western hippie. When I mention uh, Eddie and Anjuna Beach, Steve sighs. You know, Earth man, I am afraid to go to go. Haven't been there for 20 years, if you know what I mean. I now know what he means, all right. Well, Steve casually becomes my cool guide. He senses like I'm open to coaching, you know, and that I appreciate his insight from 20 years on the scene here in Gokarna. Well, so uh, here's what he tells me to do. Get rid of the hiking shoes, power down the flip-flops. <laughs> and that's just the beginning. 